The Ring of Fire is home to 90% of the world's earthquakes. Hundreds were killed and more injured when two killer earthquakes hit Japan and Ecuador over the weekend. Despite occurring only 32 hours apart, experts believe the two are not related. The only commonality is that both are located in the seismically active Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a horseshoe shaped arc around the Pacific Ocean that extends from South America all the way to New Zealand. At about 25,000 miles long, its most visible features are the volcanoes dotting the coast, roughly 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. Throughout history, cataclysmic eruptions have occurred in this area, so Johnny Cash was on spot when he sang that the Ring of Fire burns, burns, burns. 90% of the world's earthquakes also occur along the ring, caused by the sliding of tectonic plates, huge slabs of the Earth's crust. When plates slide horizontally past each other, some parts get stuck. Built up stress in those areas eventually cause the rock to break or slip and the plates to lurch forward, causing earthquakes. Plates that collide form convergent plate boundaries, which give rise to volcanoes through subduction. Those that pull apart form divergent boundaries, which become the site for seafloor spreading and rift valleys. A less powerful quake in Tonga also occurred Sunday. It too is believed to be unrelated to those in Ecuador and Japan. Despite this, an increase in global seismic activity in recent years is still cause for concern. <laughs>